Well, hello again. William Chambers here. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to uh, disassemble the brake assembly on a Cockshut 30. Now the reason I'm tearing this is all apart, as you probably see all the oil and grease there, there's a seal in here. Your brake shafts actually come out the side of your transmission. And uh, I didn't really notice it till after I started sandblasting. I want to get it fixed quick because uh, I don't want this to start rusting again. So uh, I've already got this rod out here. Goes into your actual brake pedal. That's your clutch there. Your brake pedal is actually on the other side shaft that goes through there. I actually had to loosen all this up when, when we got this tractor. Everything was seized on it. So half an hour with a torch and uh, some choice words and I had it uh, freed up there. So so I got this off here now. As you can see how this kind of works. Just kind of this is your, you got a shoe on this side and a shoe on this side, and it actually squeezes on this drum here. Kind of a neat idea, but it doesn't work worth a crap when you got oil on it. So I'm going to tear it all apart, clean everything up, and uh, so uh, I'll knock this snap ring off here, and I'll. Okay, I got the snap ring off. I'll just. Pull that off there. There. <laughs> Isn't that something? Look. Get my uh Okay, now you gotta knock this little flat washer over here that holds this that big uh, retaining nut. That thing's massive. I don't even think I have a socket that big. So, I'll get a wrench on her and see what happens. Okay, so I bent the washer over and just knocked that loose with a hammer. I had to put a bar in the uh, wheel here to keep it from turning because if you spin this, your final drives turn too. That's some cap screw. That's what they call it in the book. Yeah. <laughs> okay, set that down there. Okay, so there's where your seal goes there? Or is it inside there? I think it's inside there. Yeah. You can take this piece right off of there but probably wouldn't hurt to put a new gasket on it while I'm at it just don't know what's gonna oh farm all fanatic Friday <laughs> just had that pop up on my phone here uh, yeah I'm gonna take that plate off and knock it out because I don't want to wreck the seal because I'm gonna cross Reference it with something. Just take it to a automotive store and see if I can match it up. Or there's a bearing place that sells bearing seals not too far from here. So maybe I can get them to match it up for me. So I'll get this cover off here. Okay, I got all the bolts out but one. And yes, in fact, there is oil in this thing. I am really surprised. It actually isn't that bad of a color. So, yeah, I'm really surprised. I thought this was going to be like a Chucky 2009 job where it has everything in it but oil. <laughs> so, pull this bolt out here. there is your seal in there so that makes it easy to knock it out and then I don't damage it too much because I'm gonna have trouble uh, 
trying to I think I'm gonna have trouble trying to get one but you never know if it's a common size it shouldn't be too bad now I have the uh, oil seals out of these axles already I put the hubs back on to just keep everything together but looking at the uh, axle design and the hubs and the brake hub design is actually kind of stupid because you have your seal here and the proper you have your seal here and the proper way would have been to put have the seal run on the shaft but it doesn't it runs on the hub and there's a spline on the inside so it seals here but the oil can still get through on your splines especially if your splines are worn really bad so I'm just not sure how I'm gonna how I'm gonna do that to keep it from leaking because I think most of it just leaked out around the this side wasn't bad because it had a washer here but the other side was missing the washer and I wonder if that's why it leaked so bad so as you can see it didn't leak too too bad here and most of the oils on the outside so it's actually coming around the spline where the washer is so I don't know if I can put some goop in there to seal it or what to do yeah See, there's the axle seals actually they're not too much bigger than these brake seals So I'm going to get that knocked out and get those on the go, get all these brake parts cleaned up. And uh, I'll come back and do a install video once I get the seals here. So um, I'm going to pull the top off the transmission here and take a look inside because there's just way too much play in here. Like that's turning it's not side should be side to side like this but so I'm assuming there's little pins in there that are war so I'm gonna pull that out of there and uh, see what it looks like there's your clutch forks Okay, I had to put my phone down for a minute because I didn't exactly know what I what I was looking like looking at and I didn't want to look like an idiot so <laughs> if all else fails read the owners man or read the service manual see there you can see how it turns so I can't get out of anything underneath so I got to cut this wire here and there's three bolts here take that retainer off and I think the the shifter will come out top because it won't doesn't come out the bottom so pull those off and take a look well I pulled it out of there and it's got it's got flat spots on both sides but I think it's supposed to be like that can't even see in there but yeah there's looks like there's some wear in there I think I'm going to have to go a little further. It's probably just plain Jane War. That's the long and short of it. But oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay, there's a pin there. There's a slot there, and that looks like there's wear there. See, this sits down in there tight. Okay. I see, said the blind man, as he picked up his hammer and saw. See, it's supposed to go, like, back and forth, but not that way. Get the camera so you can actually see what I'm doing. Okay. So it's all right there in that, come on, focus already. Right there in that pin. 
So I either got to build that pin up or build that little groove where it sits. Get my light here. Get my thumb out of the way. It's hard to see on the camera, but it's it's war there. So I'm thinking I'll either lay a bead of weld in there and then uh, just take my cutoff tool and make a new slot. Pin. Well, the pin looks like it's flat on one side, but maybe it's supposed to be. I don't know. The pin doesn't come out of there, does it? Yes, it does. Holy moly. I'm not trying to sound like I don't know what I'm talking about. Because I really don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Good. Well, actually, I'm going to knock that pin out of there. Maybe I can get a new one. Yeah, I think that's what I'll do. I'll be back. Well, sure enough, that uh, that pin does come out. Focus, focus. Yeah, you can see the flat spot right there. Yeah, not much play when you go like this, but you put it on the side of the. Not bad that way, but when you go to that flat spot, I'd say I'd just give it a quarter turn and put it back together, but I know better than that. Now, I could flip it end for end, though. Uh, no, it's got, a lip on, it's got a lip on the end, whether it's supposed to or not. Okay, well, I'll see if I can find a pin, and I'll... Come back. 